Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video will be taking a look at the Ocelot Jugular which is the lookalike of the Jaguar XE SV Project 8 in real life. It is priced at 1.22 million dollars and it is in the sports category. I mean the car is absolutely gorgeous guys. In the first video where I showed all the cars in general I quite didn't like it but now after I've seen it in you know the flesh it's beautiful it is from the ocelot so the jaguar as usual the interiors are pretty crazy the racing seats and all the dash is all quite good the rear is almost identical to the real life one guys i mean look at the tail lights the bumper and the exhaust all of this is quite similar to the real life one those massive tail lights and the boot the wheels are quite different and not the exact ones but but we'll be changing that so no worries whoa the exhaust sound is just beautiful oh my god look at the dials i don't know why rockstar keeps messing this up with all of their new vehicles so ridiculous The sound and acceleration is really good. I think it has, I think just like the 8F Drafter which we reviewed, which we reviewed earlier, somewhat similar to that. So yeah, let's go check out the customizations. First up is the paint and obviously we'll be getting the dark blue shade, metallic blue shade for this. Yeah, this is the one and it also changes the wheel colors. So that's pretty cool. The dark blue, mm, no it is way too dark so we'll probably go with the normal blue shade. Yeah, this looks beautiful. Secondary paint, I think it just changes the pearlescent finish on that. Okay so it changes the roof colors, okay so but I think I'll keep it in the blue itself for now. I'll be changing the roof in the, in the modifications. And for the pearlescent finish, let's give it a slight glow so it looks even more attractive. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Next we have the wheels. I don't think we can change. Nope, those are kind of chrome wheels. So, and then the interiors. Yep, we can change the interior colors. I'll stick to grey. Next, the modifications. We can change the spoilers. There's a ton of them. Whoa, this looks, this looks neat on the car. No, not massive wing kind of subtle the street wing is also kind of good there's the secondary one as well the race wing I personally don't like this one there's the GT wing the bigger ones and the drift wing this is huge for the car that's way too huge hmm. we have the carbon as well the single panel of body color I think I'll be going with the low level or I think I'll be going with the carbon GT wing because the real life one as well has the massive wing. The low level is kind of small so I'll be going with the GT wing. Next we have the front splitters. So this is the extended one and the racing ones. Oh exposed intercooler. I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'll be getting the extended splitters here. Rare bumpers, I think. Okay, so we'll be getting those uh, rare canards. Oh, carbon lip is also there. But the real life one doesn't seem to be having any of those, so, so I'll not be getting that. Then we have the side skirts, we have the secondary skirt. Carbon skirt is also there carbon lip skirts oh this actually looks good so I'll be getting that next we have the exhaust the shock exhaust actually sounds good there's the twin can exhaust and there's the yeah this is the one even the real life one has four exhaust tips so we'll be getting this next we have the grill painted lip Okay, so the outer part of the grill gets painted. Nice. Split grill, bespoke grill. I'll be sticking to the stock grill for this. 
Next we have the bonnets. Painted stock hood. This looks odd. The double vented wood looks really good. I mean, it suits the car well. Oh my god. This kind of seems way too much for this car. So I'll probably stick to the stock one for this build. Next we have the fenders. We have the secondary painted ones and the carbon painted ones. I think it looks good with the stock body color. Then we have the roof. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about earlier. I mean, instead of getting it painted in the black, we can get the carbon roof, which makes it, you know, looks better whilst the body color has that metallic glow to it. We'll be getting the carbon roof. Then there's the liveries. Oh, sport liveries. Oh, this is like the real life one, but this one is in yellow. I wish it was in black. It would have suited the car well, just like the real life one. But that's what we get. And then we have the other company libraries. So, not what I'm looking forward to. The Ocelot was kind of good, but yeah. Window tint, all blackout, no doubt. And the wheels, yeah, we need to, we need to change the wheels to the 5-spoke wheels. The Mercy is kind of the, yeah, so as I was saying, the Mercy kind of suits the car's real life build. Those are all the customizations. Let's take it for a spin. It sounds absolutely mental, guys. I'm just loving the sound of it. Alright, let's go to the airport. Here we are. The car, I mean, the first of all, the car itself was looking, you know, beautiful. And to top it off, the blue shade looks absolutely gorgeous. And here we go. We are already at 70 miles per hour, 80 miles per hour and 90 100 miles per hour 103 i think 103 is the limit yep 103 is the top top speed of this car guys let's get the performance upgrades the engine the transmission and the turbo all right let's go check out the top speed and the acceleration now 103 for this is quite decent number here we go we have already reached 90 miles per hour crossed 100 we are at uh, 110 miles per hour 112, 113 and I guess 113 miles per hour is the top speed of this car guys. 113 is kind of decent for this car, I mean for the sports category 4 door sedan car, it is quite good. Overall the build, I mean I love this car, no doubt about that. The blue shade on this car, it looks even more beautiful guys, I just love this car. There are quite you know decent amount of modifications as well. And at the end, it kind of came close to the real life build. So I'm quite happy with the turnout of this car. All right, everyone, that's the complete customization and review of the Ocelot Jigular. More of such awesome videos of customizations and walk around are coming soon. Up next is the Anis Helion. So make sure you stay tuned by hitting the like and subscribe button. Thank you all and have a good day.